All right, so we're about to have a very interesting conversation indeed. One that will make you go wow, wow, wow. And not just, uh, you know, the wow, but the siren as well. You understand what I mean soon. We have Gloria Chibuike. She is the esteemed president and founder of the Chinwe Chibuike Foundation, an international non-profit organization which is renowned for its extensive charitable and philanthropic endeavors. The foundation's is significant impact is most notably felt in Nigeria, where it has provided vital health consultancy, medical aid, and treatments to those in need. It is so good to have you in the studio with us today. Thank How are you, you doing, much. Gloria? Thank you. I'm very well. Thank you. You know, when we talk about medical treatments, when we talk about health consultancy, many ears perk because a lot of people are going through different health challenges right mm -hmm. now, and we know the cost of healthcare now. Mm. So I just wonder, what, what exactly does uh, Chiwe Chibuike Foundation do? Um, Chiwe Chibuike Foundation is a nonprofit that was um, put together to provide free medical health care to the less privileged and the underserved mm. um, people in, I would say, Africa. Um, but mostly we've been focused on Nigeria and um, con we're also registered in America. So we go back and forth between Nigeria and America. So what qualifies us on the privileged or on the served? What uh, qualifies us that? Um, I would say people who do not have access to proper health care, people who cannot afford to, uh, you know, people who cannot afford proper medical health care mm. for themselves. Okay, so that's how you know who is deserving of the, the, the benefits. But then I, I, it, I have to talk about something that you, many people usually talk about every now and then, talking about emergency response in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you find yourself in a pickle, especially a medical one, you try to get an ambulance. If it's not by the roadside, mm -hmm. Most times you're told, oh, we cannot come to your house to pick you. Find a way to get to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's caused a lot of problems for people because when you're in an emergency, the only thing you're thinking of is how to get that person to the hospital or mm -hmm. how to get yourself to the hospital, as the case may be. If we were to talk about emergency response in Nigeria, what's your thoughts on it? <sighs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm letting out because I think emergency response services in Nigeria is is something that is not talked about enough, mm -hmm. and I also think it's something that needs to be um, it needs to be brought to the spotlight because I don't think we're doing that great when it comes to emergency response services in Nigeria currently um, because let's say we don't really have EMTs and paramedics or um, ready ambulance, like you said, you can't, you have to, they would tell you, find your way to the hospital. So it's when these things are, I think these things are things that we're supposed to have access to naturally without having to, you know, go through some kind of stress for it, or especially in a country like this, where there's emergencies going on every now and then. Um, I in think- In Lagos, there is actually. There's a 767-112, depending on which one you call. However, that's the, the, usually the comma. There are limits to where they what they to. can... No, not even where they go to, what they can do. Mm. Like, for example, let's say you have a medical emergency in your house and you call them. They mm. would likely ask you to go to the hospital directly. While a roadside care would probably be more attended to because they believe mm. the person is far from home or probably is out of sorts, as the case may be. Yeah. Uh, so, but apart from that, living in Lagos, because Nigeria is large. It's large. <laughs> if you live in Lagos, outside Lagos, what has been your experience with the emergency response services? Outside Lagos, is it's not good. I mean, even in the capital city, which mm -hmm. is Abuja, I don't think that the um, emergency response services in Abuja is that great. And then when we come to like other states that are not really developed, like Lagos State. Um, I don't even think they have it at all. Mm. You know, it's like if something happens to you, you have to find your way to the hospital. And, you know, it's not just about having the response team come. What is it like when you get to the hospital? Mm. You know, 
Um, I think they also understaffed in most hospitals. You have to go through some too many, you know, processes to be attended to when you go to the hospital, which I've been um, a victim of before, you know, and in situations like this, people can lose their lives. Situations can get worse because you're not attending to people, you're understaffed, there's no way to get to the hospital. You know, sometimes if, if it's people who don't have access to private cars, if mo not every um, public transport would want to take you to the hospital in certain situations, because then they don't also want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard when in Nigeria, um, if something happens to you and, you know, some, some people are scared to take you to the hospital because they don't want to write police report and you know be involved in certain situations when these are things that it sh I should be able to be treated first before I'm being asked what is going on with me you know stuff like that so i think it's it's an in, it's it needs to be visited it needs to be looked at it needs to be worked on mm -hmm. and i know your foundation is looking at it what exactly is your foundation doing to address this um currently right now um where training people or we're in the, I would say we're in the process and we're also working with some private institutions to train people for um, CPR and first aid trainings. Mm -hmm. So just to be able to have them, you know, have that, um, you know, just have that knowledge on how to be able to resuscitate someone around you. What do you do when someone is choking? What do you do when someone is, you know, in an emergency response situation? All right. Like a life skill. You know, I, I can imagine that it's a huge one and I must commend you for your efforts. Thank you. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. And of course, uh, we've reached the top of the hour. You're watching Wake Up Nigeria. Just stay with us.